Osnexus's Quantastore 5. From my own personal point of view, it is the best NAS SAN system I think I've ever come across. I think it beats Open Media Vault, it beats Free NAS, NAS for free, so on and so forth. And the reason it does that is because it gives me what I want. There's the bit that everyone can't accept. I want in the way I want it. There's the other bit. However, sometimes it can be a little bit as your father when it comes to updating it. And for one viewer, well, they're having a few problems. So for this video, they want to know how I do it. Technically, I do do it as per the documentation, but I've put my own flavor on it. This will cause chaos and mayhem on this video. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. PC server stuff time here at Backyard Tech for weekend Saturdays. Also a bit of old mates Q&A and advice as well. Jeez, I tell you what, I'm going to have to get new glasses sooner or later. I can barely see anything these days. <laughs> Most of my viewers would love it if I went blind so I don't have to see anything and therefore I don't make videos anymore. Um, this is from a viewer by the name of Tom. Hi Backyard. I started using OzNexus Quantastore 5 off the back of your video earlier this year. I use it as a NAS only because that's what I need. Um, however, I am struggling to get it to update from the web page. I've tried to update it from the SSH and it doesn't want to work. Am I doing something wrong? Um, or can you show how you do it? how I do it. Well, that's opening up a can of worms and abuse. Um, the way I do it is technically as per the documentation, but as per usual, old mate puts his own flavor on it and gets clobbered for it, which is fairly usual. Anyway, all right, Tom, let me show you. Now he says it's as a NAS rather than as a NAS SAN, so we're going to do this off the 113 rather than my 720 because that's configured a different way to just a straight up NAS. So let me show you how I update my 113 NAS in the terminal. All right, so this is into QStore 113 SSH, so this is into Quantastore 5 as a NAS. Um, is that the right password? Yes, it is. So the first thing I do is go. Now, before you guys start, you keyboard warriors start going off at me. Um, that's what the documentation says to do. If you don't believe me, I'll leave a link in the description below on sudo slash i because it's exactly what the documentation says to do. Now you keyboard warriors will have an absolute SH1T fit, but that's what the documentation says. All right. Um, all right, there we go. So bring up my stop note, which is that one. And paste it. And now we wait. All right. So what I do now. Oh, be helpful if I could spell. Now. The problem I've had with the 113 is sometimes it doesn't want to work properly. So it's just like updating anything Ubuntu. However, as I said, I've done my own little 
spin on this. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure why this is so, this is so slow. Um, I've always had problems with it <coughs> off the 113. I may end up, and I say I may end up, actually having to put the 113's update system outside of the network. Um, because it is a lot slower than that of the 720. So I, I still may have to put the update system, so the admin system outside, because remember with the 113, it's inside trunked my network. Sorry, it's inside my network trunked. But for some reason, it is ridiculously slow at doing this. I tell you what, it does do it eventually. Uh, we'll save some video time and I'll come back once it gets to 100%. Actually, when it's gone through all its packages. All right, well, it got that done. So then I go up update. Then I go app up grade. And this is where it takes a long time. Um, I still, this takes a lot longer to get everything compared to that of the 720. And I really, I'm not worried about it um but it, it does take a while so that's how i go off and do it all right and um it'll sit there and chomp away for a while so that's how i do it tom um yes i admit sometimes it does not like updating from within uh, the web page. It sometimes has a bit of an SH1T fit, I admit. I've had a similar problem. So I found actually doing it from here, it works more often from here than it does from the web page. All right. Um, now, obviously, the reason I've done it in this is he said he's using it as a NAS. So the updates are going to be different for a NAS compared to what they would have been for the 720, which is not running as a NAS, it's running as a block store. So there's other stuff that's got to be downloaded, okay? Um, so this will go off and do what it wants to do. Um, it does take a long time for the 113 to do it. Uh, I don't know why, but what I'll do is I'll leave it here. And then once it's finished downloading however many packages there are, 115. Um, we'll come back. Well, I hope. All right, well, as you can see, it's updating now, which is really nice. And uh, it'll go ahead now and unpack everything and then set it up. So that's the easiest way of doing it. Tom, it'll just go ahead and update everything. You can see there, um, you get the odd warning. I, look, some of the warnings I get don't affect what this specific server does, but uh, it's the best way I can, I've managed to get around the issue. All right, it's just to do app get update, app update, and then do app upgrade. And that'll that'll get everything done for you. And uh, hopefully sort out a few issues for you. So there we go. Um, this will take a while because it always does with the, uh, with the 113. So we'll come back once it's completely finished. 
All right. So as usual, I get these errors for the um, these upstart problems. I'm not worried about them personally. Uh, if you want, you can fix them. Um, there is documentation to get around it, but you can see here, uh, if we go to here so you can see here these are the errors I've got mainly because I don't have them all right so hopefully that helps you out Tom but that's how I updated and it, and it and it works quite fine I don't have any problem with it personally um, and then all I do is get out of that then go su do reboot And then once it's rebooted, uh, we'll come back. All right, so it's rebooted. What we do now is go back in. Say no to that. And there it is there. So it's all updated, all right? And that's just the easiest way to update it from the console, Tom. Um, or through SSH um, that's how I do it as I said I've taken the documentation and I've modded it for me so it's sort of a hybrid between doing what the documentation does or says and me actually doing it all right so that's how I update it um, there is a support forum uh, where you can t contact the development team if you've got other problems. I've normally, well, actually I've only ever had to contact them once and that was for licensing and that's it. I've never actually had to contact them about anything else. But that's how I do it. Anyway, there we go. Stick around, we've got an 80 series video and some AV stuff coming up for you soon. Have a good one.